How do we achieve that pure heart? Are we ready? Are we ready to stand before Allah Azza wa Jal with a pure heart and a clean heart? Are we ready? Everyone knows himself. You see, you need to be honest with yourself so that you start working on yourself. The one who lies to himself, Heather will never upgrade. He'll never learn. He'll never excel. He'll never be able to purify his heart. You need to be honest. My brothers and sisters in Islam, who among us can put his hand and say, I have no hypocrisy in my heart? Who can put his hand up and say, I'm 100% certain there is no arrogance in my heart? Who can put his hand up and say, my heart is white, it's crystal, it's polished. There is not a dot of blackness on it. Who can do that? No one. You have to be honest with yourself. You can't. I'm not here to, to make you feel all good about yourself. You know, there's plenty of ayat and ahadith in the Quran that encourage us to Allah's mercy and His rahmah and His forgiveness and we're all in need of that. But we need to first tap into our hearts. We need to be honest with ourselves. Like Hanzalah radiallahu anhu. Hanzalah walks the streets one day and he screams out, Na faqa Hanzalah. Hanzalah is a munafiq. He's a sahabi. Sahabi walking the streets of Al Madina saying, I'm a munafiq. Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu hears him. He walks out. What's wrong, brother? Why are you munafiq for? He says, Abu Bakr, don't you realize we are in the presence of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? He's talking to us. We sit there with humility, khushu'a, as though the birds are on our heads. Allahu Akbar, the Iman is pumping, it's erupting. And then we come back to our families and our jobs and our homes. It just dies, dies out. That charge that was with us with the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam disappears when we go home. So I'm a munafiq. Allahu Akbar. Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu gets worried. Subhanallah. That's the same thing that happens with me. Let's go to the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Let's go and tell him of our problem. Let's go before it's too late. We're still alive. Let's go find a solution to purify and cleanse the heart. Let's go. Hurry. Look. Look at the concern for the soul. Look at the concern. Look at the rush. There's no time to waste. He knows they only have from now until we die. We gotta get this right. They rush to the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ya Rasulallah. Ya Rasulallah. The reality is when we're with you, ka'annama ala ru'usin al-tayr. Al-Iman is popping. Birds are like, we feel them on our heads from khushu'a. And when we leave, we're in a terrible state. When Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam explains the reality of how Iman works. Not like that. It doesn't work like that. Don't think it's always going to be high and above. He says to them, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, if Iman was always high in the heart, the angels, the angels would have come and they would have shaken your hands on the streets and in your beds. You would have been angels. But that's not the case. It fluctuates. It goes up and down. When it goes down, you need to notice when it went down. And you need to do uh, CPR to your soul. Revive emergency state it gets into. You need to come to the spiritual hospitals, al-masajid. You need to take advantage of the spiritual, the spiritual occasions like Ramadan that is coming in less than two weeks. Nothing, there's nothing left for Ramadan. He's a pit stop. This is a stop in where you'll refresh your heart and purify it and cleanse it and come closer and closer to your reality. Today, many, many can tell me a lot about the person sitting next to him. But I'm not interested about the person next to you. Tell me about yourself. Be honest about yourself. Is there nifaq in your heart or not? Is there arrogance in your heart or not? Is there ego and jealousy in your heart or not? You gotta be honest. You need to be like Hanvala so that you're able to work with your heart and know it, its low points, its high points, so that you know when you need to revive it. Here's the problem of people today, always complaining about their Iman, and we need something, and we need to do something. And he does nothing, but he knows he needs to do something. Maybe it's because he hasn't been honest with himself. 
He hasn't pointed the finger to himself to say, I think there's hypocrisy in this heart. I think my heart is black. 